Are you interested in ensuring interoperability for your EVSE by implementing your own test cases? Please stay tuned. Hi everybody, my name is Linus. I'm Vector Smart Charging Field Application Engineer and today I will show you how to recreate an issue from a charging station in a test case within Vitez Studio and Canoe. During your interoperability tests, you observe that the communication failed with a specific EV. What went wrong and how can you see the communication? With the VH5110A, you can capture the charging communication in a BLF file by connecting the VH5110A to your inlet conductively. Now that you've identified an issue with your charging station related to a specific vehicle, our next step is to investigate the root cause. To do this, set Canoe to offline mode and replay the recorded BLF file from the faulty charging cycle. The error occurred at the end of the charging session. To analyze it, scroll to the bottom of the file and examine what happened. Notice that the message sent by the vehicle filled the last part of the payload with blank zero bytes. Unfortunately, our charging station supply equipment communication controller couldn't handle this and terminated the TCP connection. In Canoe, click Open Test Design to easily open Vita Studio. Now that you understand what caused this behavior, it's time to recreate it using our Canoe test package EVSE. This is where all our ISO 1511 8-2 tests are defined. Create a new folder named Custom Test Cases in the Test Unit. Of course, you can name everything however you like. Next, add a test table named My Personalized Tests and a .can file named Personalized Test Case Behavior. The advantage of this approach is that when there is a new release of the Canoe Test Package EVSE, you only need to reload these two files and the folder. Inside the test table, start by defining a test case. As a starting point, go to the test table where the session setup tests are defined, inside the SCC test case lib folder. Copy the first test case definition. Then return to My Personalized Tests, right-click on Test Case Definition and select Paste as Child. Then rename it to Session Setup Request with Extra Blank Byte. Now that you have your starting point, you need to change the test case behavior. Start by changing the target message in the preparation phase from Message Session Setup Request to message supported app protocol response. This starts the simulation and runs until it receives the message supported app protocol response from the charger. Next, define and implement your specific test case behavior with couple in the personalized test case behavior.can file. To keep this video short, I've already prepared this behavior. It's important to tag the function with export so that you can select it in the test case table. To recreate our targeted behavior from the electric vehicle, use the SCC payload present indication callback. This is triggered each time the state machine is about to send the SCC message. Inside this callback, wait for the flag and the correct message ID to add the extra byte to the EXI payload. To get meaningful reports, you can use the methods test step pass and test step fail provided by the vector test feature set. Wait for the session setup request message from the car by using the wait for and check session setup response method defined by the ISO test cases. Based on the return value of this function, you can interpret the EVSE behavior as failed or passed. Right-click and choose Go to Definition to explore how our ISO test cases check and wait for such a message. To ensure that the tests are done according to the standard, 
please don't manipulate any methods used by our ISO test cases. Now, in the test case definition, you can replace the previously used method with our own. The test completion remains the same. To complete your test case creation, you need to define the test case in the test execution tree. Right-click on Test Tree and select Add Test Group. Name it Custom Test Cases. This will create a new folder in the CANU test unit view. Then right-click on the test case group and click Add Command. In the command, call your previously defined test case. In our case, it's the session setup request with extra blank byte. You can now compile the test unit by pressing build all test units. Back in Canu, you can now see the extra test case group with a given name. Execute the test case against your EVSE. The test fails as expected because the EVSE is responding with the response code failed, just as it did in the observation in the field. Now you can explore the issue in the comfort of your lab without having to charge a real EV. After you implement the software behavior in your EVSE, you can test again. The test passed and all is well. Now that you have this test case implemented, you can always test if the EVSE still behaves as expected. In the V model, three important integration levels are differentiated from software in the loop to hardware in the loop. Canoe Test Package EVSE is used to execute customer-specific test cases on all three integration levels. With SILKit, you can run your test cases on SIL level to test embedded code. With VT System, you can run your test cases against your SECC on hill level. Additionally, VCTS executes your test cases against the EVSE to test the entire charging system. If you want to know more about interoperability, do not hesitate. Contact us via support at vector.com. Thank you for watching.